welcome back to another Cheapo Meter Review. That's right, I've changed the name to Cheapo from Crapo because if a meter is cheap, it's not necessarily going to be crap. So I hope you agree with the name change. This is only the second review with this uh, topic heading, but there will be plenty more. So the Cheapo Meter Review is underway. Today's contestant is the Alicol EM 33D. This is a non-auto ranging digital multimeter. What does that mean? Well, you've got to change the dial for all of your selections. And speaking of selections, there's not a whole lot in this category. It does not do capacitance. For instance, it does voltage AC and DC up to a whopping 600 volts. It does do diode and continuity and it does current 10 amp max. So it also has something called non-contact voltage or NCV, which we will demonstrate. And apparently it's IEC 61010 rated, and that is on the meter itself. All right, so taking a closer look, is this going to be crap? Well, it's going to be interesting. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it up against a, uh, a meter that costs about 30 to 40 times as much, depending where you buy it. And uh, we'll see how they fare in terms of at least the uh, voltage comparison. My uh, trusty 8584 voltage reference is back online, so we'll use that to try a few different voltage range ranges, and we'll see just how accurate this guy is. And speaking of this guy, it's been in my arsenal for quite some time. Uh, actually, what I meant is it's been on my bench for a while. It's not as painful as it sounds. Um, and and I, I've actually, um, you know, uh, yeah, I've used it. And dare I say, uh, maybe abused it. But it was, um, well, I'm going to let the video speak for itself and then we'll, uh, we'll give it a rating at the end. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a quick view at the chassis. Yeah, now it's your uh, interesting looking um, kind of typical uh, multimeter chassis of the new millennium. I've heard somebody say, and I thought it was kind of cool, they said this has cartoon looks to it. And I have to agree, it's uh, for some reason it just looks a little cartoonish. But uh, hey, it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Believe it or not, this thing has a little bit of weight to it, and I like it. I've already taken off the uh, back cover, and as you can see, that's right. It's got a threaded insert for the battery cover, so um, yeah, bonus in that respect. Standing bail itself is, if I can just lift it up here. Pretty decent. It doesn't flop around, it stays in one position. And when it's on the bench, or in this case on the table, and this is a glass table, but you know, hey, it turns. So uh, kudos to the bail. Now the selector switch, I gotta say, I really like this guy. It's got a really nice clickety click, which um, just kind of sounds right. There's no, dual, let's just say, no um, tepidation in terms of the actual movement. I mean, when you hit a, a select, it's there. So it's not going to get stuck in between. That's nice. So, and the actual dial itself, the rotary switch, you know, just feels good. So, yeah, for a cheap multimeter, and we'll talk about the price right now, this cost a whopping... $11 Canadian, so approximately $9 and change US, so under 10 bucks, folks. Yeah, I think that definitely qualifies as cheap. And speaking of cheap, no, I, I better not talk about that, but another show. Okay, if you want to compare size, this is the ever so popular Enning 8008, and you can see they're pretty close. So, yeah, the alcohol is a wee bit larger, but it's still a small meter. 
And if we just take a comparison at the side, and yes, this other one is falling apart at the moment, but uh, yeah, they're pretty close in terms of the width. So we're about to start the voltage test. And I've got the Prova 903 True RMS meter, which we will be using as a comparative to the Alicol EM330, I'm sorry, EM33D. So we're at 2.50 volts according to the 8584 precision voltage reference. And we're showing as 2.50 with the Prova and 2.49, so not far behind is the Alicol. Bring it up to 5.00 volts. 5.00 for the Prova, 4.98 for the Alicol. Up to 7.50. 7.50 for the Prova, 7.4, a little bit of flutter, 8 for the EM33D. And finally, the 10.0 volt setting, 10.01 for Prova, and 9.97 for the Alicol EM33D. There you have it. The alcohol was off a few counts on, I would guess, um, every range. But that being said, the Proba 903 does have a much higher accuracy, not to mention resolution, but it also costs approximately 35 times as much as the alcohol. So all in all, I would say the AM33D did pretty darn good. Next we'll be measuring resistance. Now the EM33D has a paltry two meg maximum for resistance. So even in terms of cheap home multimeters, that's pretty lame slash low. That being said, I don't have any two meg resistors handy, but I did find these little 22K. So I'll just do a quick measurement. See if we can hit 22K. Of course the selector switch is in the 200K position. And here we go, 21.6, so good enough. Now we're going to switch this guy to diode and continuity. Okay, so in this setting, we will start by seeing if this can illuminate a white LED. survey says sorry it might help if I get this on camera and no so I apologize it is a little blurry but no it's not doing the trick so so much for that I've got a uh, set of diodes here we'll just see if can at least see the forward voltage drop. And there we go. So at least it can measure forward voltage drop of a diode, so good stuff. Okay, the M33D also comes with a backlight. Now this backlight will slowly disintegrate after about 10 to 12 seconds but it's a nice little feature and the backlight is fairly um, fairly nice the display itself as well um, it's good I've got no complaints there's some glare but uh, it also features the standard hold nothing fancy not a touch hold but um, if you want to hold your reading you just press down on the hold and to release press again Next, we're going to do a continuity test coming right up. Alrighty, so for the continuity test, I'm going to use these stock probes that the meter ships with. It's the El Cheapo, nothing fancy probes. So let's see if these ones come out. Do the old pole test here. Eh, nothing. No, 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 no. Can't pull them out. So uh, passes the pole test. Hmm. Maybe these aren't so bad after all. Okay, here we go.
Wow. Okay, so that's a pass. Hey, no complaints there. Just for the heck of it, I am going to stick in a set of probe masters. Cost three times, four times as much as the meter, but what the heck. We'll see, even though that was pretty darn good continuity with cheap leads and a cheap meter, we'll see if it's any better with the uh, expensive Probe Masters. Hey boys and girls, don't try this at home. All right, here we go. Uh, maybe slightly more instantaneous, but in terms of gratification, um, they're both pretty well on par. It's loud. There is no visual indicator, but um, hey, that's a pass both ways. So uh, good job, EM33D for the continuity. That's something you don't see too often in a cheap meter with cheap probes. And I mean cheap stock probes. Uh, that was really good. Okay, so we have this guy opened up. And let's take a look. So starting with the bottom half, uh, we have no shielding. So the entire plastic molding is here. The 9 volt battery goes here through the little Tab snap on, sneaks under there, but we have no shielding, so that's too bad. Now, what does this cheap old multimeter have to offer us in terms of input protection? Well, we have a 0.2 amp fuse. It's just a glass fuse. I checked, there is no other special markings on that fuse. It's other than the uh, 250 volt 0.2 amp rating. Um, here we have some diodes, resistors, some clamping going on. We actually have, believe it or not, we actually have one PTC. So that's a, a good thing, kind of surprising. Here's our speaker. Uh, as you can see, it's mostly SMD, but there is a few through hole components. We have a cap on the top. Our generic cob IC over here. And in here is a dual op amp, the venerable LM358. That's that guy right here. There's our voltage connector. And moving up to the top, here we have the NCV, non-contact voltage detection. Now, in this meter, it seems to be a little bit on the lame side. As you can see, it's basically just a piece of via. That is your non-contact voltage detection right there. Exudes quality, does it not? Uh, years of R&D R &D went into that. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway. Other than that, it looks pretty decent. I mean, I've got no uh, qualms. as pretty cheap old multimeter go. Um, we have a little bit of blast shielding on the side. Um, it's a recessed ridge. It's kind of hard to see. I do apologize, but... Uh, so that's it. The probes themselves, the uh, input jacks rather, they are the split type, but um, soldering looks okay. Uh, I don't think they're gonna come loose. They're sitting inside the uh, plastic um, holes, containers, what have you, so they're not really gonna get a whole lot of stress put on them. But uh, yeah, there's our display here and our Zebra strip right underneath. And that's what makes contact with the PCB and gives us our uh, online display. But there we go. So sneak peek inside and uh, all in all for a cheapo multimeter, um, you know, it's not bad. Definitely seen a heck of a lot worse, but uh, there you go. Now, something I wanted to point out to you, and I hope you can see it all right, but uh, this cheapo multimeter, it does come in variation of colors. Uh, here it's a green boot as opposed to the red boot, which I'm showing you today. But uh, look at those reviews. So out of 109 so far, it's garnished 4.9 stars. So yeah, that's... 
pretty significant. And as you can see here, the price is going for $10.64 US. Now, I would say if you want this meter at that price to grab it, because it does seem to be going up. Um, if we just switch to eBay, for instance, uh, it's selling for a whopping uh, $24 US, uh, as opposed to AliExpress, $10. So if you want one, I'd say grab it now. Ellie seems to have the best price. Um, but there you go. So uh, a lot of positive reviews uh, for a cheap multimeter. So the final test for the Alicol EM33D is the non-contact voltage detection. I have a voltage source, aka current, and theoretically when this meter is in NCV mode and it comes across a high voltage source, it should begin to shriek, much like my neighbor's kids. Anyway, hmm, interesting, okay. Now there's no button you have to press down or I have heard that the uh, Chinese market sometimes, oh, oh I heard a, a beep. Yeah, so uh, that's a fail. Um, if I was looking for something through a stud in the wall, I need something a little more uh, finite than this. There we go. Just smash it against the wall and you should be fine. Okay. So much for the non-contact voltage detection. Okay, so to give the alcohol EM33D my rating. Well, input protection kind of sucks. Yeah. I mean, there's absolutely nothing on the 10 app. It's unfused. Yeah, you have your current shunt, but... Hmm. Would I feel confident putting this in 600 volts? I don't think so. If you could use it for the bench, for the car, abuse it, use it, I think it's a great little meter. It is what it is. It's not trying to be anything else. And in terms of cheap multimeters, this one actually fills the bill. It is cheap, but it doesn't perform too cheaply. Forget about the NCV, the non-contact voltage. That's absolute crap. Forget about the input protection. You're not going to use this for high voltage anyway. But if you just need a meter to throw on your bench in a drawer, pull out in a jiffy, in the car, in the garage, whatever, hey, this one has your name on it. The EM33D gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Hope you enjoyed this cheapo multi-meter review. Plenty more coming. Until the next time, keep on testing.